Good afternoon, Gregorio. I have wonderful news about my unified field theory. I believe I have solved the unification problem. Wonderful, my friend. Io per mi tensor calcul uva self full. Yes. Your tensor calculus was most helpful. I used it in a most unusual way I'm afraid. I was playing my violin and a happy thought entered my mind. What kind of happy thought? I thought about how strings vibrate. What if all matter and energy vibrated like little fundamental strings? You see, the harmonics that are excited along a string are like packets of energy. Incredible. Those would be some super strings. All small would tiny and to better represent matter and energy? Excellent question. They would need to be on the scale of the atom. I believe Bohr's atomic model gives us clues as to the underlying geometrical model. But do you mean? Bohr's model mentions quantum jumps. At first I thought these jumps were simply untrue. Now I know they must indeed exist in order for the unified field theory to work. Really? Also, quantum jumps behave exactly like the harmonics on a string. The nodes could represent matter while the antinodes could represent energy. As you know, nodes jump when a higher harmonic is excited along a string. Schrodinger just wrote me a letter about using wave packets to describe matter. He heard about de Broglie's matter waves and discussed it in his letter in great detail. As you may recall, I showed in 1905 how light can emit packets of energy which I named photons. Electrons jump to higher energy states when they absorb photons and jump to lower energy states when they emit photons. That is exactly how the geometry of standing waves work. Nodes jump whenever a higher harmonic is excited. If these standing waves of matter and energy were correctly orientated around the atom quantum theory would actually make physical sense. Brilliant Einstein. Simply brilliant. The problem is, Bohr doesn't believe that the quantum world can be understood geometrically. Heisenberg has convinced him that the quantum world cannot be visualized. While I don't agree with his matrix mechanics, Heisenberg's uncertainty principle could be explained geometrically with standing waves. But do you mean? Standing waves are half real and half unreal. In order for a node to exist in reality, both parts of the standing wave function need to be incorporated. Otherwise, the complete geometrical picture is lost. The Heisenberg uncertainty principle explains how position and momentum cannot be simultaneously defined. This now makes sense to me because position requires both wave functions to be superpositioned over one another. Yes, yes. I say what you mean. You see, the nodes of a standing wave pattern have position because they don't move, while the antinodes possess momentum because they vibrate. It is this delicate balance which gives standing waves their stability. As you know, the fundamental overtone of a standing wave looks like a figure eight. It is this shape which will be the geometrical solution I've been looking for to describe the forces of nature. Gravity and electromagnetism will come together perfectly using this simple geometrical construct. Even matter can now be incorporated into this perfect figure eight model. Who would have ever thought that the shape of infinity would be the theory of the universe? God is smiling. I just know it. I am so happy for you, my friend. So that so you wanted to meet with me today. You know that God is equally thinking. Yes, Gregorio. I am certain I know. I know we are living in a volatile time. War is brewing in Germany and mankind is far from reaching peace and harmony. That is why I need your help. This theory will unite all of mankind and bring peace to the world but it needs to be handled with the greatest of care. Otherwise, we will end up with mankind heading toward another world war with physics leading the way into darkness. I would be heartbroken if the theory of the universe was lost in mathematical nonsense. These days, everyone in physics wants to give up Newtonian determinism and follow Bohr's probabilistic universe. That would be tragic indeed. Our present mathematics only calculates discrete points in space instead of looking at space as continuous.
The theory of the universe is thus in jeopardy of being lost in higher dimensional space. Are you referring to the Lutz Klein's solution to the electromagnetic force? Exactly. Higher dimensional theories would lead mankind into the worst dark age of human thought. Nothing would seem real anymore. Our fundamental concept of reality would be lost and mankind would begin to manifest uncertainty in its deepest beliefs. Fear would dominate everyday life. Then shall help you my friend to save mankind from eternal darkness. Let me recover from this horrible cold first. We shall solve this problem to jeter and give mankind back its sense of reality and a state of peace. Thank you Gregorio. I would never be able to solve it alone. Without your mathematical expertise on this problem, mankind would lose hope in ever establishing lasting peace.